We began our fiscal year in July of 2019 with optimism, strength, and momentum. We had more funding in our pockets thanks to state leadership. They made a huge investment in transportation to support the things that we, as Oregonians, care about. A vibrant economy with good jobs, strong communities with a high quality of life, a clean environment, and safe, healthy people. We were launching Saturday service and extended weekday service in the fall, and we're planning for Sunday and holiday service in 2020. For our community, these services would be life-changing. With the advent of new board members, myself among them, new buses running on renewable natural gas, and expanded service on the horizon, the summer months leading up to the launch of new service in September were teeming with excitement. Even Oregon's familiar gray skies could not cast a shadow on the historic day that was September 7th. The long-awaited Saturday service had arrived, and for the first month, all Saturday rides were on the house. We hosted our Saturday's All Right for Riding community event. It was an epic display of teamwork, camaraderie, and community loyalty. While transportation is our business, serving our community is our mission. Chariots has served the greater Salem-Kaiser community since 1979, and in November of 2019, we celebrated our 40th anniversary. We had been gearing up for a year's worth of commemorative events throughout 2020. While some came to fruition, one of our current buses was fully wrapped in the style and colors of a vintage 1990s Chariots bus. Many others did not. Just barely into the new year, the first case of COVID-19 was identified in the United States. The new year was filled with hope and promise. The promise of new Sunday and holiday service and the introduction of new technologies, including an electronic fare system and real-time bus track. Along with that, there was the optimism and enthusiasm of the Chariots Board that had new members and new leadership. Three months into the new year, we were facing COVID-19. We rode the first wave of the crisis with uncertainty as the information and updates about the virus evolved almost daily. Operators began calling in because of illness or potential exposure to the virus. We were stretched thin and did not have the capacity to effectively provide service. In an unprecedented move, we temporarily suspended service on March 31st, just after the governor issued a stay-at-home order. Our buses stopped rolling, our office doors closed, and our employees went home. The suspension gave us an opportunity to regroup, take a step back, and assess what we were doing right and what else that we could do. We knew we had to keep going. We issued a declaration of emergency, which gave us the flexibility to perform actions and impose policies that we would normally not be able to do. Assuring our employees, our riders, and our community that Chariots was doing everything it could to mitigate the spread of COVID-19 was paramount. Our operators are the backbone of our service. They are essential workers who provide an essential service so that other essential workers can get to work. We needed to protect the health and safety of our frontline staff for themselves and their families. To minimize exposure of our operators to coronavirus, we installed plexiglass cockpit shields, stopped collecting fares, and adopted a rear door boarding and exiting only protocol. Our sanitizing procedures increased in intensity with workers cleaning and disinfecting buses and buildings on an ongoing basis. We secured more personal protective equipment for our operators, including masks, gloves, sanitizing wipes, and face shields. We required riders and operators to wear a facial covering, such as a mask, scarf, or bandana when boarding the bus. Seats were blocked off to enforce physical distancing while riding. Decals, placed six feet apart, were installed at the transit centers so that riders knew where to wait for their bus. Even during the pandemic, essential workers continued riding transit. Pre-pandemic, we averaged over 12,000 rides per day. During the pandemic, that average dropped to about 5,000 rides per day. Recognizing that public transit is essential to helping our community recover, 
our federal delegation provided over $15.6 million of CARES Act funding for Chariot's operational support and other costs during the COVID crisis. The pandemic has shown how essential public transportation is to keeping our communities functioning. As people reconnect to the people they love, the resources they need, and the dreams they're working to achieve, Chariots will be there.